Hey there, I'm Dan Brown here with Connor Maynard. How's it going? I'm all good, man. I'm always looking for the next scoop, so can you give me any spoilers as to what the uh, next singles or music videos off of Contrast might be? If I'm honest, I actually have no idea. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Um, I don't know what the next single... I mean, obviously in the UK, the following single after Turnaround was uh, Animal. Right, right. So at the moment, we'll see um, Turnaround is still the single right now because uh, obviously I released first in the UK and, and now here. <laughs> I don't really know what's going to be the next single in the US, but um, either way, I'm definitely going to make it very, very special for you guys. Well, can you at least tell me where I can find a levitating phone booth? Was that Still just there. like suspended by a crane or something? That or? was that was real. I mean, <laughs> a lot of people thought it was all green screen and kind of thing, but that, I was actually 80 feet in the air in a phone booth. <laughs> so um, that was a fun time. I'm assuming that you had the phone booth pretty secured, though, because a typical phone booth, the door can just like fly open at any time. Yeah, it was all locked up. Actually, we had two harnesses around us, and it was really uncomfortable because I had the phone, the phone. They left the phone in there. They could at least <laughs> take the phone out. They left the phone in there and it was digging right into my side, but... Realism. I know, exactly. Yeah. Floating phone. No pain, no gain. Now I want to talk a little bit about the song Vegas Girl. Was that an attempt to kind of reach out to a more American, United States audience? I don't know really, I feel like when, when I was writing it, there wasn't really an aim for it, it was just mm -hmm. a fun concept that I had in my head. We were kind of thinking about like a, because the song was kind of upbeat and kind of like a party song, so we were like, right, let's, let's write kind of a party concept. And I feel Vegas Girl was a cool concept because obviously everyone knows that Vegas is like one of the party capitals of the world, so um, it was just a, just a way of saying someone that loves to party, I suppose. I mean, everyone was asked, oh, have you been to Vegas? I'm a bit like, no, haven't, it's embarrassing, actually. <laughs> you you haven't been to Vegas? Never been to Vegas in my <laughs> life. And, um, Everyone was saying, oh, you're going to shoot the video in Vegas. And at first I was like, yeah, let's do that. Let's shoot the video in Vegas. It's going to be crazy. And I realized, oh, wait, I'm actually legally too young to even go out in <laughs> Vegas. Yeah. I'm 20 and you need to be 21. So the video would have consisted of me outside with the bouncers like, yeah, can't get in. This is great. Mum, pick me up, please. Help. So it wouldn't have been that good of a video. So, um, so yeah, in the end, the concept was just someone that loves to party. Now, you recently hit one million followers on Twitter. And you yes. made a little vlog-style video to celebrate. You guys have been absolutely amazing this entire year. And I can't wait to continue with you guys. Um, thank you for my a million followers. You're all amazing, and I'll uh, see you all soon. Who are the people in the background? Right? Yeah, those people are. One of them is my brother, okay. uh, Jack, and the other two are my two closest friends, Alex and Anth. Anth's actually one of the rappers that um, I was kind of discovered on YouTube with. We kind okay. of hooked up, and he, he lives in uh, Alexandria, Virginia. Um, and we had never met. We just sent videos out online and kind of figured it out through that, and we just put, the, put our tracks together. And yeah, we just we did these covers, and that's how we kind of both blew up online. So we finally got to meet. Um, like I think it was about two years ago, and then ever since then we've been really close friends. So we all went to New York for that was just just literally before New Year's. So. Okay, okay. So yeah, we were all there just, and I had a million followers I think on New Year's Eve. So we just did this really dumb video, which is that one. And did you celebrate in any way beyond just making a really dumb video? Nope. That was it. Really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I imagine the millionth follower feels pretty similar to the 999. Well, my my friend followers. actually was quite funny because the guy who was, who was there, Alex, he actually unfollowed me just before I hit a million and he followed me. <laughs> so he, was, he said, Oh, I'm your millionth follower. And I was like, Yeah, you're the biggest leader. <laughs> <laughs>